We're back. We're back. <coughs> oh no, it's too early for you to be throwing up already. We just started. Take two, do that again. We did it, we're here, we're here. This is a really big episode, uh, episode of our show. Our food Determinators. show. Of the Determinators. We're gonna be eating every single thing off the secret menu at In-N-Out. Oh, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Every item? Like literally every, I, I didn't tell you that part. You didn't, yeah, you didn't like didn't tell me anything. You just said show up at 11. <laughs> well, fun fact, you're gonna be using the restroom a lot today. Great. All right, Lauren, you're up first. Okay. She literally doesn't know what's in this box. Is this a paleo burger? This is keto. It is, but it's that's not how you order it. This looks like two burgers with a piece of cheese in the middle. Uh-huh, it is. They call it the Flying Dutchman. Hi, is there an egg on it? Now, is that what Dutchmans eat? Actually, I don't know why I asked that. Well, I am paleo right now, so this is great. You're not gonna be for long, only for the first five minutes of this experience. <laughs> this is fantastic. You wanna touch? Is it weird to like be touching your meat? Not for men. <laughs> The only thing that's weird is the consistency of the meat, the chewiness of it, kind of disturbs me a little bit. You can use some ketchup, but I would order this. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it was cheaper. You know what, it's on, they call it the Flying Dutchman. There, I ordered it <gasps> as the Flying Dutchman. You didn't have to tell them how to make it? No, they just knew. Like, they are used to weirdos like us stopping by. How much was it? It was only $2.60. Ah, worth it. Cute little snack. So this next secret menu item is a bunch of secret menu item hacks in one. So at In-N-Out, you can get your bun extra toasted, which if you guys know me, you know I do no toasty on the bun. And what's the history of that? I don't know, I just, I've always said it. I've always said no toasty on the bun and I always seem to get it most of the time. Did they one day be like, were they like, ma'am, would you like toasty on the bun? And you were like, you know what? No, no toasty on the bun. Where did that come from, Erin? I need to know. I think it's just an urn invention and it just stuck with me, I don't know. Usually I'm no toasty on the bun, but today I did extra toasty. Did you did you say extra toasty on the bun? No, I didn't, I was too embarrassed. <laughs> but the no toasty I feel very confident about. So it's extra toasted with a whole grilled onion. You can get a whole grilled onion on it, not raw. And you can get it cut in half so that you can share it with a friend. <gasps> Great, I love onions. Do you not like onions? So I eat plain burgers with just cheese. So do I, same with ketchup. Oh great. I've never had the secret in and out sauce. You've never had in and out sauce? No, because I don't like creamy white things. Oh, that's right, you don't like mayonnaise, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna eat this for you. It's gonna taste really good. We'll see. Try to like mentally think it's not mayonnaise. I, w I wasn't thinking it was mayonnaise until you just said it was mayonnaise. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. Mm. It's okay. If you get extra toasted, you have to eat it right away because it starts to get soggy hard. Do you know what I mean? Like chewy. The, I like the grilled onion. Do you need to spit it out? I would let you spit it out here, but it says no food or drink in this area. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so mayonnaise-y. Uh -huh. It's only gonna get worse for you. Lauren, that is insane. That is an insane amount of meat. Next up is a burger that I don't really love the name of it, but it's very, very popular apparently. It's a dirty little secret menu item called the monkey style burger. Why? I don't know, but it is a order of animal style fries stuffed inside of a double double. Shut up. I was too embarrassed to ask them to make it. What do you mean? You know, after our McDonald's episode of everyone in the comments, it's being very angry. Oh, so you're just gonna make it yourself? I'm just gonna make it myself. Although, the In-N-Out guy was so nice, he would have probably made it for me. But you know what, I'm not gonna try to ruin his day. So, I have an order of animal style fries right here. I'm gonna put this inside of this. And then we're gonna put that inside In of us. Mm -hmm. Great. Spreader. It's a little difficult. Okay, I'm just gonna spread her here because that's as good as I'm gonna get. Okay, this is why I'm not a chef. This this is the reason. Just dumping them in on there. I don't know what else to do. Here, I'm gonna take some of this off. You think? Okay, here we go. And we're ready. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Oh my gosh, it's dripping all over me. Okay, ready? Yeah. I can hear the mayonnaise. <laughs> what do you like about it? It's one of those foods that when you eat it, you have to make sounds. Mm. It's my least favorite type of food. Can I just have one more? Yeah. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I love it. Next up is the three by three, which is basically three patties and three layers of cheese. So what's the secret hack? It's just three patties? Yeah, it's just not on the menu. This is the four by four, which is four patties of meat, four layers of cheese. Apparently rumor has it that the three by three is better than the four by four because the four by four is too girthy and too thick and this is like the right perfect proportion of meat. I'm gonna eat the three by three first. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh, so thick. Okay, so that was supposed to be better than the next one. Oh, how am I gonna get this in my mouth? Are we ready? We need to like, oh, oh my God. Erin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rewind that, she did it. You I'm... need to, slow-mo, replay, we need to see that again. Erin. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like peanut butter to a dog. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You're like, yeah. you can't get it out. What's it like again? <laughs> But it's really good. I actually like all the meat and cheese. So you think four by four is better? Uh huh. I'm so impressed with myself. I'm so impressed that I got That's that in my mouth. That's seven cows. We'll cut that out. So in In-N-Out, they take mustard and they grill the patties in it. They they do that for all the burgers? No, but you could order it that way. It's a secret. It's a secret menu. Got it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, do you see the mustard there? Yeah. Mmm. Okay, here we go. Do you like mustard? Mm hmm Mustard is a very polarizing condiment. Okay, it's a little tangier. Grilled? Get the mustard tastes different than just wet, sloppy, squirty mustard? It's not as mustardy when they grill it. I think it takes, oh. tastes, takes the mustard flavor down a notch. Maybe I would like it. It just kind of feels like there's like a tang. It doesn't feel like mustard or taste like it either. It's kind of if you want something a little different, but why would you? If you're coming in and out, you have like your go-to mm -hmm. thing, you know? What's this one called? Mustard grilled patty. Got it. Last up in this round is a cheeseburger with cold cheese. Apparently it is a secret menu item and we are trying every item. What's it called? Terrible. It, it's just called a, a cold cheeseburger. Who doesn't want melted cheese? Well, have you ever eaten just cold slices of cheese? I have, but only when I was like in single digits in my age. What? Okay. I don't trust anybody who doesn't like warm cheese on their burger. This is so boring and lame and not exciting. Forget we even did this. A couple more sandwiches to go. I forgot. Why are you calling them sandwiches? So what do you call like a, a burgerless burger? Sad. Or a sandwich. Okay, sandwich. Or a sandwich. <gasps> so this is a grilled cheese, which if you guys remember, Chick-fil-A shot me down majorly when I ordered a grilled cheese from there. And McDonald's grilled cheese was disgusting. I ordered a grilled cheese, and you guys can see, it came with lettuce and tomato and the secret sauce, the in and out secret sauce, you know? And it also had a bonus french fry in the mix. We were like, hey, this is gonna be really disappointing. We have a surprise for you. So I'm just gonna take a bite of this. I will say it does look grilled, so that's a plus. No. Lettuce and tomato in your grilled cheese just seems wrong. That's, no one wants that. This is, uh, it's just like eating all these ingredients. Like You wouldn't dip that in tomato soup. Huh. No, you would not. Don't think about it. This is just really sad. I, I wanted just the cheese and the bread. So you ordered a grilled cheese and this is what came. Sad. Okay, okay. I don't know if I'm confused or they're confused. It's probably I'm confused. For sure, always. in and out also has a vegetarian sandwich. Again, I say sandwich because it's not a burger. Oh, that's just all the things that I hate. Yeah, so if you want just all vegetables, you can get a sandwich. So that's like a salad with bread on top and bottom. And now it's gonna be gross. Oh, you didn't look at it? Okay, here we go. This is a lot of lettuce. It's just salad and bread. Yeah. That's a salad. I, now I can't not think about it being a salad. Mm, mm, mm. Ah. So also at in and out I'm gonna let you try this round because what? I'm full. Why does that look a little weird? Why does it look weird? Why does it look weird? It looks wet. You should try it. Okay. Is it truffle? No. That'd be cool. That would be really good, but okay. no. Okay, so this is just looking a little uncooked. Wait. Ew. What am I about to eat? It's like mashed potatoes. It is a lightly fried french oh, fry. Oh, it's soggy. 
I don't know if it's healthier, but I think some people don't like their fries crispy. I don't trust those people, but I, they might exist. If you're creative and you're in and out, you can make lemon pepper fries. <gasps> you, I love lemon pepper potato chips. And I just bought lemon pepper grinder from Trader Joe's and I added it to my asparagus the other day. It was so good. My pea smelled like asparagus. I am into this. Finally, Eric shows up. <laughs> what just happened? So you grab a lemon and you just do that. Oh. I'm so into this. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot. Okay. Do you need more? Or do you want more? Well, you just put a lot of lemon in there. Oh, shake it up. You gotta fix it. It looks just so special. That was good, but I feel like it didn't have enough lemon, so let me get a better one. Mm. What's the verdict? Too much pepper. Too much pepper? Maybe it needs ketchup. That's bad. Is it better than regular fries with ketchup? It's different. It's like Cool Ranch Doritos. You know, you like regular Doritos, but you also like Cool Ranch Doritos every now and then. But would you ever make this yourself if you came to In-N-Out? No. Oh, that's a big loss. It's so fun though. So with the pepper theme, you can also make pepper ketchup. Is that a thing? We're about to make it. Pep up. Catcher. So what you do, I went in, I got the little ketchup thing. You can also pump your own ketchup, but I just got packs and I feel like that was gonna be Oh, look easier. at that dog. Hi. Hi. I don't like doodles. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, so what you do is you get your ketchup and then you put pepper in it. Sing. Ah. There it is. What is it? What? Come on, what in tough style of music is this? So you put a little pepper. You think more? Okay. Oh, that's good. All right, dip one of them fries in there, girl. Get it in. Okay. I can't taste pepper. Try it. Oh, I can. Ooh, I like that. It's like a spicy ketchup. It's yes. Like white trash spicy ketchup. Yes. All right, Lauren, you're gonna love this. Okay, so I got you a Dutchman, a flying Dutchman. With an egg on it? No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I don't know why I think there's an egg on it. But it's not just any flying Dutchman. Okay. It's an animal style Dutchman. Oh, great. <laughs> Mayonnaise, I'm uh, sorry. It feels like Christmas, but it's the opposite because I hate everything. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Well, so how does it work? You gotta top it. I put that on top. Yeah, like a cupcake. Oh, this I is the icing, oh. and that's your cupcake. Oh, wow. What? Wow. Okay, you need a fork, I think. Okay, here we go. Meat, cheese, onions, fries. Oh, wow. Oh my God. The onions are so good. This is so good. You gotta try it. On a scale of one to 10, how much am I going to poop right now? 11. So because I wanted to really honor the title of this video, I want to really try every single thing on the secret menu list. So I did order an order of cheese fries and an order of animal style fries. Since Lauren has not really actually had animal style fries, I am gonna ask her to just try one little itty titty bitty bit of it. Okay, so animal fries aren't on the menu. Everybody talks about animal fries, but they're not on the menu. No. Oh, okay. But everybody knows about them. It's like, yeah. So it's not a secret anymore. Ooh, okay, okay. This is so good. Is it? You have to try it. Okay. Cause I actually have never tried animal fries either. I don't think. Ugh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. You don't like it? I don't like the onion. What? Yeah. But you yeah. like the onions on your burger? Sometimes. Wow. I don't like that. I mean, it's not like horrible, but there's so many other delicious things you could do to french fries. I just don't feel like putting onions on it is the best. Cheese fries. Cheese fries. Going in. It's almost like cold cheese slices again. Oh yeah. This is so good. Shake Shack's better, but we're not talking about Shake Shack right now. But I have to say, in an ounce fries, aren't they like not as good as most fries? Um, I like them more than McDonald's fries, but not as much as Shake Shack or Taco Bell. <laughs> Wait, does Taco Bell have fries? No. I mean, they do, but not really. Okay. Wait, they either do or they don't. I think they're like chicken fries. Oh, that is not a fry. That's why I said it's a gray area. <laughs> okay, last stop on our In and Out secret menu train. 
is the Neapolitan Shake. Okay, so it's chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla all mixed. And I remember the last time we did this at we've McDonald's. Had, we've had it now there and Chick Fil A, right? Yep. And I have to say, McDonald's is still reigning supreme. So good. It was yeah. so good. Okay, okay, Lauren, I'm gonna let you do the honors. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I don't remember a McDonald's. I really don't remember it now. This is so good. Mm. I feel like it's so gonna come out of all like your ears and your eyes. You're like sucking it so hard. That's better than Chick-fil-A. I don't know if it's better than McDonald's. You don't like it? Mm -mm. McDonald's is way better. It doesn't really taste like real ice cream and it also doesn't taste cold. It kind of tastes like that is weird. It's like room temperature, but I could barely get it through the straw. It kind of tastes like it has like a pudding. A pudding. Pudding? <laughs> Puddin. Puddin? That was where my southern accent and my normal accent fought each other. <laughs> Has a pudding consistency to it. Like, is it pudding? Can you eat pudding through a straw? Y'all, we are full. We are carb loaded. We are ketoed. We are paleoed. We are carnivored. We are ready to go take a nap. But what was your favorite? The Flying Dutchman. Oh yeah, of course. I'm so into that. Well, I really like. What was it? It was the quadruple, triple. Oh, I love the four by four. But I love the one. What was it with the double, double, and then the animal fry on the inside? Oh, road kill? monkey. The monkey see monkey do. Monkey see monkey do. I, I don't know. That monkey one was real good. So you guys, let us know if you've had any of these secret menu hacks on your own. If there was one that I missed, I was pretty thorough with my list, and honestly, we couldn't afford to eat anything else because I'm broke and also like way overweight and bloated right now. So. Uh, let us know in the comments if there was anything that we missed and I'm um, subscribed did any wrong because we always do Anyway subscribe to this channel Lauren and I are gonna be doing more food content here in the future. We're also going to Coachella uh, oh, Are we eating food at Coachella? I think so secret food at Coachella Maybe. <gasps> Great like this video if you want to see that you guys subscribe and go follow Lauren on Instagram She's been a true sport with all this mayonnaise and pickle juice around here So go follow her and also if you want to see Lauren and I try other food you can click here or here, what have we done? McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, In-N-Out. We just, that's this one, that's this one. But one of these is a food video that you don't wanna miss, you guys. Love you, see you next time, bye! Uh.